script. To be honest, it is kind of bullshit because you can't see the rest of the fucking sequence. So how would you know that that particular platform is gonna vanish? It's just guesswork from there. Yeah. And I think it was yesterday, or a couple days ago, they released the first public like accepted proposition paper, or whatever, from NASA for a, an electromagnetic drive thruster thing but there's one issue with it and that's that it violates the third law of newton which is like every every action must have like an equal opposite reaction or something like that how does it violate it but well it it provides thrust with like electromagnetic thrust that basically enough power to get you to mars in 70 days the problem is it doesn't give anything in exchange for like it doesn't there's no feedback there's no reaction to the yeah to that the sounds like bullshit all right thrust. it's weird but thing is it's it's electromagnetic pulse you know drive it, it's an emp driven thing <laughs> no it's electromagnetic sorry electromagnetic uh <laughs> thrust emp the engine is, no now here to fucking... that that's the best you could possibly do. Yeah, that would be the weirdest fucking thing. EMP engine. Now here to fuck your life up. <laughs> Let's see what you get here. Yeah. I never managed to get up here because I kept breaking the staircase. Ah, oh, you get fucking nothing. That's what you get. Yay! <laughs> ten out of ten. What? It's quite amazing now that I know that I can just walk through that shit. Let's see. A bastard! Fuck! Come on! Rip. It's like they purposefully get rid of the one platform that I need the most. There we go. Fucking bastard game. Why you do this to me? I just wanna go. <laughs> go where? Go fast! Gotta go fast! Gonna go fierce. Sonic Heroes! <laughs> <laughs> I still remember that guy with the microphone, uh. Forever. Who was it again? They were like doing this live concert thing. Oh, this fucking eyeball! Go away! I don't, I don't remember when or where, but it's like they were like singing Sonic Heroes, and then they hold out the microphone for this, for this one dude. But this dude just goes ape shit with it. <laughs> he just, he, he took just... the opportunity, seized the moment. <laughs> yeah, he screamed at the top of his lungs some some weird shit. I don't know. Sonic heroes. He's like. Blah, blah. I bet some people seeing this crawl through bullshit, they're like, "Oh, I knew this. Why did yeah. you fucking say it then?" <laughs> yeah. Would have saved us a lot of trouble. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Okay, basically just jump onto that one platform. <laughs> <laughs> that one is definitely uh... my fault, because I rushed. Yeah. I, I thought you were gonna wait just a little bit for it to actually appear. Oh, come the fuck on. You mean to tell me that's not fucking high enough to, for me to avoid? Come on. It barely scrapes my fucking hair. We really don't want you to go anywhere with this shit. <laughs> I was getting stuck more on the previous rooms, not this shit. What the fuck, game? Get your act together. If you, if you get one more continue... I'm I'm gonna have to like call it call it a session. <laughs> Cause holy shit, I'm I'm, I'm tired. I'm getting kind of tired too. My thumbs hurt. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking eyeball! Away with you! Oh no! Oh, I made it through. This is a very tricky jump. It's like you think I'm just gonna jump over it. No, don't don't even think about it. You can't jump over that block. I mean, I think I tried it before, and I would always just land one spike too close and get stabbed in the ass. Come on. 
Don't fail me now. Is that one middle platform you need to hop onto? Like as soon as it appears. The second one? Like the third one. The third one. As soon as the third one appears, you need to jump onto it. It disappears so fast though. The fucking pattern seems random. It just keeps going however it feels like. Maybe I should just try to jump on whatever is there. Jump on the third one and then try to jump onto the the sec the next ones. Okay. As soon as it appears. As soon as I actually can. I don't think I can make the jump to the third one. The farthest I can go is the second. Now that's why you need to step on the first one in order to do the jump. Most of the time it's not there for me. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shit. Yeah, as soon as the first one shows up, the third one vanishes. I can't do it fast enough. The pattern is all over the place. It seems to keep alternating. God damn it! Come on! Yeah, That's fuck. bullshit. No, no. <laughs> I restart. I want to get through this fucking thing. No. <laughs> Come on. Fuck you. No. <laughs> this has to stop. You, you're losing it, man. Yes. You're losing it. Yes. Save. Learn. Save. You... Guess what? Boss. All you needed to do was walk through them, oh. not jump. You just needed to walk. They fall it apart and they allowed you to walk along the entire thing. That's not how it looked like on my side. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Uh, and then you need to fight Frankenstein's monster. Frankie is easy. As long as he doesn't spawn more clones of himself. Because these potions you can just dodge by climbing up. Oh, what? Hey! Don't you try to be smart with me. Oh! There we go. He's shitting potions. He was made of potions. Oh yeah! Uh, <laughs> reaching all the way. He's reaching. I hope I don't have to use more save states. <laughs> yeah, right. Never. <laughs> Famous last words. That's what it is. <laughs> Famous last words. Oh, it's a treasure room. Oh, oh, this one has a nice groove. Treasure room is pretty nice actually. It's not very hard and the boss is pretty cool too. The golden bat, which is made out of coins. Yeah. Oi. Don't, don't you dare to fall apart beneath my foot. Oi. It, also, it also has suicidal skeletoners. <laughs> you saw that guy, he just fucking jumped off to his doom. Yeah. Hey, what the fuck was that? He just headbutted me. Yeah, and those bones reach through the platform apparently. And he's just going fucking crazy. Stop that. <laughs> Stop. I don't want your boners. Some kind of boner business. Boner. Ah! Motherfucker. I had to kill that bat out of revenge. I could have had Shiver something me cool. Shiver me bones. <laughs> I can see uh, cracks in the fucking floor and I'm afraid to- Oh! Frame rate, please! <laughs> <laughs> suddenly, I, suddenly it went like the fucking Internet Explorer 6 simulator. Everything started lagging out. I really like this tune. <laughs> it is um, pretty good. Everything's good in this game, except the bullshit. That's not good. That's never good. Didn't didn't the last playthrough get like DMCA'd by Konami or something? Because yeah, the, the first soundtrack? part got a content ID for visual content. Apparently, the yeah. first level was too similar to their intros or something of the sort. Like hell, it was. I mean, how different can you do it? Skeleton, fuck off from there. Go away. Oh wait, I have this fucking axe. Where'd you go? 
Come here, you bastard. I face the me. X disappeared. Oh, I missed. It decided to flail all over the place instead of fucking swing. I think if you get up there, you get a lot of cool shit. Yeah, you do. Well, I'm not getting it. Like that fucking poor cross would have been very nice. Would have been very nice indeed. So you didn't get any of it. No. Because they need to get good. More like this fucking whip boy. needs to get fucking good. Okay, I know this part. If you try to swing for the candles, you're gonna die. Yeah, don't even bother. No, they are bait. But I bet they're gonna throw a bat or something. They love doing that shit. Oh no, even better! Skeleton! And a bat! <laughs> oh. And another bat and another skeleton. Go away! <laughs> So many ghosts, holy shit. Too many bonus! <laughs> That's what the hooker says after a night shift. <laughs> <laughs> you see that hook? Watch me miss. Yeah. Oh! Okay, watch me miss in the next one. Damn! Now that's what I call well, getting then. good. What about poor cross? No far growth, but you got the cross. You could have gotten the, the clock, actually. So it's not like the clock helps a lot. I don't think it, it helps in boss everything. fights. No, it doesn't. So it's worthless. <laughs> to me. Yeah, it just freezes shit. But the thing is, it also freezes projectiles, so... Yeah, running into them is a problem. Poor crust! <laughs> I am not completely fucked now. Oh, this is where you can sink into the gold and die. Makes you wonder how Scrooge does it. <laughs> Fucking asshole. He probably... He probably cheats or something. He has hacks. <laughs> yeah. Money swim hacks, go! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can we do this right? No! Of course not. But we can still get it out, because this is not... An optional swing. This is kind of mandatory. How else would you get out? I don't like the, the look of that coffin. So I'm gonna ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the Tetris oh, box. Chicken. Gotta wait a bit. Oh yeah, you need to hurry because... Yeah, but you have to wait a bit. Because it has to build up enough for you to make the jump. I think I waited a little too long though, but it was still good enough. I still made it full. Stop sucking me in, assholes! <laughs> Said all the termites <laughs> after being attacked by a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> oh my god, we had a problem with like fucking termites showing up. Termites are assholes. Um, like th we had a, a slight heat wave like a, like a month and a half Poor ago Christ. or two months ago. And like heat wave in a Mexico. Lot of oh, I wonder. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of termites showed up out of nowhere in one of the rooms, and, and we we're like, oh my fucking god! So you need to have to vacuum clean all of them up. You want to build a fucking colony? Build it right in here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> How else would you treat these fucking bastards? You either uh, suck them up and throw them out along with the rest of the trash, or just fucking. Use poison or something. Yeah, I'd rather just throw them out. Because, I mean, they're just trying to get some wood. <laughs> they trying Can't to get really wood. <laughs> 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 that doesn't sound good. <laughs> it really does. They... Alright, alright, thinking better, um, I, I guess we might just... Make, uh, we might as well end their existence. All they want is wood. They live for the wood. You just want to get fucked. <laughs> oh. Now I can moonwalk. <laughs> <laughs> I said I would do it for every staircase. I must uphold my prom. Get up! Well, the stairs there look like they're go. covered in butter, though. 
Yeah. But no, it, it's gold. Where'd you go? Come back here, you asshole! Fight me! <laughs> Sit to me! He just moon 1v1! He moonwalked his way out. Oh, he has a whip. Yeah, he thinks he's tough. I'm tougher. Oh, poor cross! Oh, yeah! I feel good every time I get a healing item. You should have seen the one episode in Fighting Force 2 where I was with 1 HP left. <laughs> For like 10 minutes or something. Oh, dude, in Guns of Icarus, we managed to um, defeat an enemy ship, like two enemy ships, while having z absolutely zero uh, ship health left on the meter. Like, oh, the, 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 damn. The, that's the bars were that's empty. Hurt. Yeah. yeah, the bars were empty, or uh, like our ship looked like shit, but all we had was the armor, and our engineer was just spamming it with a pipe wrench. That's a good engine. Then. Great. I'm noticing yeah, something here with this bat. If you keep smacking it, the the gold that drops out of it to hurt you, it keeps resetting. <laughs> so you can use that to your advantage. What the? Oh no! They turned into smaller bats. Fuck! No, I should have used the cross. It. I don't think I would have survived anyway, cause I had very little HP. Fuck! <laughs> what the? Hey! I thought I actually slid on the butter. <laughs> and now I'm moon sliding. Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't letting you. Let go of me, you silly butter. Hey, I was pretty close to killing that bastard, I gotta say. Let's try that again. Because we are pretty damn close to the end of the game. I think after this is Death and Slogger and all the other fucking bastards. Probably. I don't remember. If it, if it is them, then that means we're pretty much at the end of the game. Is it kind of weird that this is pretty much the only Castlevania game that I ever played? <laughs> nah, can't really blame you. It's, Half of them are shit. It's kind of a hard series to get into, actually. I mean, if you try to start with the classics, you're gonna have a shitty time. You, Because you yeah. gotta be in the right kind of mindset, and you also gotta have experience with these kind of old games to even get into it properly. Yeah, if you're kind of story person, like the oldest you should probably you could probably ever get into was is, is Legacy of Darkness, but then that's not the original Castlevania experience because it's 3D uh, third person, so it, it, it's weird. I'd say if you never played a Sega Genesis or NES game, you shouldn't even bother with the classics. Yeah, because you're I mean, really gonna have a hard time. These are not easy to pick up. That's why I always like introduce people with this one, and then I'm like, okay, so there's these ones, and then there's like the other ones, and then there's like Lord, little Lords of Shadow, and I'm like, just pick one based on pick your poison. you like. Yeah, pick your poison basically, because on one hand you have all the the failed 3D Castlevania games. They weren't all bad, but they weren't all great either. Uh, except for Legacy of Darkness, in my not-so-humble opinion. And then you have Lords of Shadow, which a lot of people shit on and don't consider a Castlevania game, but I consider one of the best Castlevania games because it tried to be something different. Then you and, also and, have yeah, all the RPG Castlevanias. Yeah, the, me the, the infamous the Metroidvanias. Metroidvanias yeah. And those are I, just I still... a different kind of a beast to get into. I tried one of them. I don't think it was yeah, an official I... game. But fuck, man, I just can't be arsed. It takes way yeah. too long. Yeah, they're what you call uh, Igarashi's Castlevania. Igarashi's <laughs> Castlevania? Yeah, Koji Igarashi was the one who directed all those games and had all those ideas, pretty much. He was the one that anim anime animefied Castlevania and made it like this weird upbeat gothic, gothic theme. And sure, he kept most of them in side scrollers, but still, like, I, I really hate him for turning into some anime fantasy 
like, oh, that's a nice pose. No, that is a nice pose. You fo you superimpose that on some evil monster's face. Awesome. Oh. I never understood why they went with it. Why they even like bothered to go with the fucking RPG genre? Cause it doesn't feel like it fits. Probably give it, to give it more substance. Like, cause their games were like lacking at that at that point. It was an attempt at re basically, from what I gather, is that Koji Garashi saw like a Castlevania game pretty much sitting in that in a dumpster, <sighs> and he got really, really, really upset. He was like, "No, you know what? We need to revamp the series." So that's when Symphony of the Night was made. Um, but I, well, I don't speaking know. Speaking of the classics, I actually, this is a classic level with a classic tune. Yeah. Fucking bloody tears all the way. No, I will be crying bloody tears, all right. <laughs> yeah, you're actually pretty close to the ending now. That's good. Maybe you can finish it in one go. That would be pretty cool. But I doubt it. Let's see if what we can do. All right. I don't want to cry bloody tears yet. <laughs> <laughs> The clock tower is easily the hardest one of the levels, cause it's fucking clock tower. Just like that. Saw that? I clipped through the yep. fucking cogwheel. Get used to it. Happens all the time. Never cease to amaze. <laughs> That's a nice effect. That, that it moves you like you're actually going around. Yeah. They really put their best with this one, I gotta say. <laughs> 